don't know if we're going to make it or not. Houston has a problem. If the city can't get its ozone levels under control in the next nine years, millions of dollars in federal highway funds could be taken away. We wouldn't build additional roads, we wouldn't build overpasses, we wouldn't build HOV lanes, we wouldn't buy additional buses, we wouldn't build the bikeways that we're building with these highway funds. All of which means the cost of maintaining Interstate 10, Interstate 45, and Highway 59 would become the responsibility of local and state taxpayers. Well, I think that we really ought to look to industry to improve their uh, responsibility and air quality. Well, I'm not necessarily happy about the taxpayers payers having to pay for it. However, I think we're all going to have to work together to find a solution. Ultimately, it's the state's responsibility to improve Houston's air quality. But the latest plan calls for local leaders to come up with the strategy. There are no details. We don't know what the cost is. Uh, we really don't know what kind of controls are really being proposed or if they're really even feasible. The decisions to be made are tough. Current efforts to clean up the air are not working. Dallas has been trying for eight years to meet government health standards. It was the first city in Texas to require vehicle emissions inspection. And it's been using a cleaner burning gasoline for three years. Yet in 1995 and 97, Dallas violated ozone standards on more days than it had in any other year in the past decade. These programs, though, you know, however high-minded or hopeful they were, weren't effective. And now we're three years later, we spent literally billions of dollars on these programs, and they don't work. Here in Houston, vehicles also use cleaner burning gasoline and undergo emissions inspections. But cars may not be the major problem. Last year, the highest ozone level was recorded on a Sunday, a day with the fewest vehicles on the road. And unless the folks that are going to church are the ones that are driving these bad cars, uh, and they've got to really be bad cars, it's hard to explain that. Older facilities are often blamed. They are exempt from most air quality requirements. The state's new plan calls for them to voluntarily reduce their emissions. But some say that's not enough. They are dirty. They are polluting just as much today as they did 27, 30, 40 years ago with no improvement at all. If the citizens and the rest of the plants are going to have to make improvements, those old grandfathered plants need to be brought into the system.